Tying your own bow tie can be, let's just say, a little frustrating. I've been there before, trust me, I feel your pain. I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm showing you the absolute easiest way to tie a bow tie. One disclaimer before we start is that in order to use this method, you have to be able to disconnect your bow tie into two halves. Now you can see the bow tie I am using here is from Le Nou Papillon and it has a hook in the back that allows you to take the two halves apart. This method is actually one that Nicholas, the owner of Le Nou Papillon teaches, and I am going to show you how it's done. Okay, first thing we're going to do is to disconnect the two halves and then we're going to move the hook end to the left and the slider end to the right. Next, we're going to fold the hook end over to start making the bow. Now, when you do this, you want to fold it over a little less than the complete bow will be because later on, when we tighten it, it will actually expand just a little to the size that we want. Next, we're going to fold over the other side and make it the same size and then place it on top of the other piece. Now, grab it with both hands and flip it over. Next, put your index finger of your right hand towards the center of the bow, take the hook end, and fold it up towards the center like so. Now hold the hook end in place with your right hand and flip the bow over. Bring it up and now you can see that we actually have our bow starting to form. Now with both thumbs holding the hook end, we're going to take the bow, flip it over towards us, and bring the hook end up once more. Now with your left hand, hold the hook end in the center, fold the right part of the bow over, and hold them both in place with your left hand. Next, fold the slider end up and bring the right side of the bow back down. Now take the hook end and move it over the slider end, then bring the slider end around and thread it back under the loop end. Then we're going to tie it off and turn it over and see how we did. Now at this point, if your bow does not look perfect, that's totally fine. Now is the time we're going to adjust it to how we want it to look. You can move the knot over, you can add a dimple in, and the final thing that I like to do is to give it a really firm pull and tighten the knot. I prefer a tight knot over one that is loose. And there you have it, perfectly tied and ready to be worn. Now I know that may have seemed like a lot of steps and you'll probably have to watch this video a couple, two or three times to get the hang of it. I certainly had to practice tying a bow tie this way a handful of times before I really felt comfortable and confident doing it. I really prefer this method over tying it while it's around my neck. I can, I can do it that way, but I feel like I get a much more satisfactory result tying it on the table like this. I also feel like I have a lot more control over things like how I get the dimple uh, exactly how I want it and that's sort of a very important detail that I like to have when I wear a bow tie. If this video helped you tie a bow tie with less frustration, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. In the description will be links to all of the Lanou Papillon bow ties that we carry in the HSS shop. Hit that subscribe button and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.